Hey guys, so one of the most requested um, videos was called an empties video um, where I show the products or things that I've been using and really enjoying and they are empty or close to empty. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with this, uh, I'm, I'm going to do a couple food products first. Um, I really enjoy cooking and um, I'm often doing that so a lot of the things I could think of that I've emptied were more like in the cooking realm. Um, not all like products um, for makeup and that sort of thing. I, I do have a couple of makeup things but mostly um, some other life things. <laughs> so. so this is um, a chocolate. Um, it's extra dark. It's from L-I-N-D-T, Lind. I'm probably saying that incorrectly. Um, it's 85% cocoa, so it's really, really dark chocolate. Um, I like really dark chocolate. This was extremely dark. Um, I, I liked it. Uh, the only thing is, I think it had like a lot of caffeine in it or something. It made me feel a little bit off when I had some. I'm not entirely sure. I've been reading it to see if that's the case, but it felt that way. I don't have much caffeine in my life. I don't drink coffee or tea really, and um, or soda. So it's rare that I have caffeine in my system. So I had this and I felt like it didn't feel good. <laughs> so <laughs> it tasted excellent. That was the only thing that I would say I wasn't a fan of. But if you're used to having caffeine in your system, it might not bother you. Um, so I tried this for the first time because I was at a grocery store and they have a point system and apparently I had um, enough points to get two free chocolates. So um, they gave me um, this one and another version, but I, I asked for two of the same, so they brought another one of these. I think it was like an orange flavoured one, and I'm not a fan of orange in general. So I, I had two of these, so I tried the first one, excellent. I, I actually added it into some cookies. Not wasn't the best idea because it, it needed more sugar flavour for the cookies, but I loved it by itself. I think the thing I like most about it is its box <laughs> and the sound it makes. So we almost emptied this one. We emptied the first and we have just a little bit left of this one. So good. So creamy. But 
much. You really do have to like dark chocolate to like it. So that's the first product. I've got little chocolate pieces all over my table. Okay, I'm going to do. So that was one food. I'm going to do another product that I've used a lot of, and this one pretty much emptied. Again, not a beauty product. It's paint. This one's practically empty. If you've been watching some of my um, real life ASMR videos, those are basically videos where I'm just doing something in real life, like sweeping or um, I did one with painting, just painting something um, without really trying to make it ASMR. Um, I did the painting video with this particular, with this paint and some others too. sure how well the camera is picking up the colour. I used to film in a spot where the colour was so accurate um, but now there's like a blue tint on the walls in this room and it's giving off a, a blue tint into the to everything I'm tapping on so this is a lot more turquoise than it's showing to be. Um, it's called a bright aqua green I love using um, gold when I paint things and so I love the mixture of this colour with gold. This is just a really basic acrylic, actually called Basics, but I love it. It's from Liquitex. You can see it's pretty much at its end here. Sometimes when I get to this point with paint, I will just take the top off and squeeze it all out that way. There have even been times where I cut it in half and just squeezed all the paint out because it gets kind of stuck. It's hard to get it all out, but there's actually quite a bit left, even though it looks like there's not you know, it's all gone. If you cut it open and squish it out, it's kind of got a good amount there. So. So this is almost empty. So I actually, I don't wear a lot of makeup um, and I don't use a lot of products um, regarding makeup because of that so um, I try to find a few things that I actually do use a lot. I wear mascara and I wear lipstick um, and sometimes eyeshadow but um, I don't wear any like powders or foundation or anything like that so um, Whenever I've done videos with makeup, I often use friends' makeup. But 
I, I love lipstick. That's something I really love. Um, and I like really vibrant colour, any colour, um, across just like that looks nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this. This is a MAC lipstick that I have I've shown you before in different videos, but I wear all the time. Um, if you've been at my channel for any length of time, you've probably seen potentially little hints of um, my hair in the videos. And at one point it was pretty bright pink. And so I purchased this. So actually my uh, mother-in-law for my birthday one year, she wanted to get me something and take me out to get it. So I said I wanted some lipstick and this is the color that I chose. It's hot pink to go with my hair. There's hot pink. It's not hot pink right now. I wish it was. Again, it's maybe a little hard to see, but so it's not completely empty. It can go a little higher too. It's just uh, I've used a lot of it, so I thought I'd show this to you. Um, it is this one is called Chatterbox Amplified by Mac. Might be hard hard to see. Chatterbox Amplified. is nicer there. Yeah, so they have some great colours. I really like MAC lipstick. Um, I only have three currently, um, but it's fun to add to that, like those bright colours. I have um, a really dark, kind of like maroon colour. Um, that I first purchased from them. I can't remember the name of it. Um, trying to remember, but anyway. And then I have a, a third one that's like a lighter pink. Because my hair, I'll show you. Because my hair is no longer bright pink, it's actually, um, the tips are bleached. Um, left over from, I had to bleach my hair to make it pink because it's naturally much darker so it goes from this to like a lighter colour I don't know if you can see and then on the top my roots are my original colour which is like a, a brown so it's kind of like layered right now not on purpose necessarily, that's just how it grew out um, but it looks really cool so it looked nice with a light pink um, versus the really bright pink, so anyhow, but this one has been used a lot. If you like bright lipsticks and it's nice on your skin tone, it's really nice. I like it. I always put chapstick on before I put it though, otherwise I feel like it gets kind of dry and crackle, crackly. So I tend to put chapstick and then the lipstick and um, once in a while through the evening reapply a chapstick and this sometimes it more just needs some moisture the color tends to stay okay what's next okay i'm going to show you another food product now this is clearly not empty <laughs> I'm doing a bad job of things being empty, um, but I thought I'd just show you things I used a lot of, um, and maybe were new to me in some way. This is chia seeds.
I love the design they have on the front here. But chia seeds, um, I have been making something called overnight oats, and basically that is um, a delicious breakfast that you can make the uh, many nights before, and I make them in ball jars. So you add oats and yogurt, etc., etc., ingredients. And one of the ingredients they asked for was chia seeds, and they're really high in omega three. Um, they kind of have like a if you've ever had boba, boba is a drink that has these little tapioca balls in it. Um, it these kind of become a similar texture. They start as seeds, but once they're in the water um, that you soak them in, they become more like a gelatin in a way, and they're really, I love the texture. So some people probably love it, some people probably hate it. But it's a really cool, almost like gummy texture. Um, and so, um, I started adding them to these overnight oats, which by the way, I had requests for cooking videos and I think I'm going to do um, an overnight oats video for you when I'm able to and have the kitchen um, when no one else is home so that it's quiet. Um, but basically, these are great in the overnight oats, but what I did is I started trying them in different ways. So, I took a mixture of berries that were frozen from the grocery store so it had like blueberries, raspberries, blackberries frozen and I took a food processor um, and I grind them up um, so they're like kind of like small pieces basically and then I you can even make that into more of a, like a liquid if you add some water to it um, so you take it you grind it up to small pieces add some water to your mixture in the um, food processor so it becomes like a berry liquid almost like a berry drink in a way um, and then you add chia seeds to it and basically when you add chia seeds to any liquid that's when they become this gelatinous kind of texture that's that's how you eat them in that form usually I, I don't know people probably eat them in all forms but it's really nice when it becomes gelatinous so you add them into that berry liquid and it's delicious it's very tart so you have to like tart things but it's really good and then for my husband I just add almond milk and cinnamon um, and did I put something else? and honey and then I added chia seeds and it's a really nice kind of snack because this does have protein in it. it has for every teaspoon it has three grams of protein so, I apologize, it's every tablespoon it has three grams of protein. showing it to you because I originally purchased it wondering if it would be any good um, and actually I was kind of assuming it wouldn't be but I wanted to try it because it has a lot more fluid ounces than other mascaras it does come in waterproof black which I like and I like it dark black so it, it kind of fit the bill for what I was looking for, but it was a lower price and I guess, I don't know, the colours looked a little bit 90s, 80s, 90s to me and I've seen it around for so long and I guess I just assumed it wouldn't be that great 
um, because it was less cost and more for the answers but it I thought I would try it and I'm glad that I did um, because I really do like it it is um, called Great Lash by Maybelline New York again it's waterproof and it's very black so only if you like waterproof and very black they do have non waterproof I don't know if those are as good though um, but this one really has worked out I've used it all month and it, it's been great so I, I do plan on buying it again if you like those things. I will say that um, it doesn't it doesn't run when you wear it um, but if you don't clean it then after you wear it at night then you might wake up with some under your eyes but I'm really bad with makeup guys. I don't even clean it off at night. I think I've shared that before and I'm sure that's like really bad somehow but I don't. It's just in the morning I kind of take it off. <coughs> last product. Um, I'm just showing this because uh, it smells so good on little people, on little ones. It's a vino baby. It's a wash and shampoo. It's lightly scented and it's pediatrician recommended. I use this on myself too. I figure if it's good for babies it's probably good for adults too. it's tear free it's gentle cleansing and again it's for hair and body the shampoo and the wash in one It, so I'm going to let it be. Well, I had the chocolate and the paint. So I hope that's relaxing for you guys. I hope that you are able to relax and sleep well. Thank you again for watching. And thank you guys for all of your support. Really, really think you guys are cool people. Thank you. Good night.